<clears throat> What's happening? This is a quick one. This, um, I'm not even going to say any more on this subject. It's about that Peter Sutcliffe little weirdo. Right, the stalker. That's what he is. He's a little bit of a stalker, isn't he? Just stalks me and makes lies up. And you're thinking, <laughs> I'm sat there, right, with the lads and your lad. Is this guy for real, right? His claims of fame is the fact that he used to be a Joey for Darren, right? His whole fucking name, the, the thing on the start of the podcast was... I, I, he, he was groomed by Darren G, right? <laughs> and that was his claims of fame. Like, but the, the mad thing is, as much as I dislike Darren, right? He lied about Darren in a podcast. He made loads of li li lies up. That's one thing I will say, right? He was chatting a load of bollocks in his podcast about Darren, um, which wasn't true. That's a fact. As much as I dislike him, as I said, it's true. So fucking, he did make loads of lies up. Um, but... Um, then, because he's a cloud chaser, so obviously he, he he knew he didn't have any sort of backstory, right? If you go on Google, the only thing he's been nicked for, this Peter Sutcliffe guy, is um, fucking twenty-seven five-pound wraps of cocaine, right? <laughs> Which comes to about a hundred quid or something like that, right? It's not even not, I haven't added it up, but it comes to something petty like that. The police valued it as eight hundred quid, but um, <laughs> and you think this guy going on the way he is, right, on social media, but then he's going, oh. I'm just fucking out to fucking try and help people get fucking jobs. And you're thinking, you're not at all, lad. You're out for clout. You use Darren G's name to get on a podcast. You've got no backstory. You've got nicked for... for you, the only thing on Google about you is the 27 wraps of cocaine. And you got an asbo for being fucking naughty. <laughs> and you just think this guy is a dickhead, right? A proper dickhead clout chaser. Then he begged me, right? Absolutely begged me, going, Sam, please put me on your story, please. For months he was begging me, right? And then I said, no, I just ignore them, right? And most of the time, just blanking them. And then fucking, he's just begging me and begging me. And then fucking, well, I didn't. Then he tried to turn on me. But he did, right? Started making a load of lies up. He must have been sat there thinking, how can I get followers? So he thought, I'll make a load of lies up. And then obviously, he then had the Dad and G fans, right? Who follow, who follow him, right? Who are chatting bollocks. But at the end of the day, most of them know he's full of shit now. Anyway. Most of them know the fucking, the lies that Peter Sutcliffe was making were bullshit, right? Obviously, even when he called me a grass and I think, hang on, this would have come out years ago where it was a fucking snitch. I've done 17 years in prison, all my teenage years, all my 20s. I'm not proud of that. I'm actually ashamed to say that because... I wasted so many fucking years, which could have been better served. Do you know what I mean? Like, with my family, friends. I lost friends and family over the years because of the amount of jail I saved. And it's my own fault. No one else's fault. I've got no excuses. But the bottom line is, I would never snitch on anyone. I would go into court, as I always do, and fucking tell it how it is. Simple as that. I fucking... You only need to go into, on, on, on and check every time I've gone into court of terrorised judges. They always get the maximum fucking sentence, don't they? <laughs> um, but yeah, as for this little fucking cloud chaser snitch, that's what he done. He got a bit bitter, didn't he? But the thing is, he's obviously just jealous, and you can just tell he's riddled in jealousy. Even when I got my teeth done yesterday, he's going, "Oh, he didn't pay fifteen thousand pound, even though the receipt was on the fucking on my story. He didn't pay fifteen thousand pound. Turns to put the fucking name, um, the um, the fucking the um." His bank statements up and think, lad, do you think I've got bank statements, lad? <laughs> I only owned a bank account for the first time a couple of months ago. <laughs> and you just think this guy's just a hater. He goes, the car he's driving, um, not his, he lives with his mate. And I think, um, for one, my mate would not have me living with him for the way I carry on, right? I live by myself, right? And for two, the car's mine, right? He says, oh, his clothes are black, lad. My clothes are not black, lad. This is the thing. Anything that's... Even Africa. He goes, oh, no, no. There's something dodgy going on going over in Africa. And you think, this guy, right? He's just a hater. So what he does is anything that's fucking potentially positive, right? Or like for anything about it. He's just hating. And that's all he is. When the truth is, he's just a fucking little weirdo. He's worse than Darren G, right? He is. He's worse than Darren G, right? Because he's used Darren, right, to get on the podcast. And then he's used me, right, to get 3,000 followers. Because he's had 3,000 followers in, in, in 48 hours, right? And you just, I just, I just laugh, right? Because I'm, I'm listening to these lies and I'm thinking, 
<laughs> Does anyone actually believe this? Do you know what I mean? I think this guy is just a fucking numpty, right? This fucking Peter Sutcliffe lookalike, and you just think. But as I said, I'm gonna attach the ass kissing messages voice notes to the end of this again, so you'll just see what type of individual he is. But <laughs> everyone's onto him now. The majority of people are onto him. We just have, he's, he's fucked it for himself, um, absolutely. But um, yeah, <laughs> and the thing is, when he's going to everyone. Um, shit, it is, it is how we manipulate and I prove it now because he goes, everyone share, um, share this or, or whatever he says, right? When he's going on about fucking helping people and work, it's not for himself. I say it's not for the other people. Show, tell him to show proof of where, where he's fucking helped people. He's just a fucking liar. The blatantly, he just all for clout for him. And I didn't think he was, well, I knew he was a, like a clout chaser, but I didn't think it was to, to this extent that he'd try and use people. But you know, he said, man, so he's offered me a fight. I said to him, keep her off social media, lad. I'll come and see you. And then um, he was going, oh, I'm in Essex or whatever he is, right? And he goes on about Liverpool saying, oh, he said he's banned from Liverpool, but he's in Liverpool. Yeah, I am, because I, I've got to give 24 hours notice. As part of my, my um, release, I've got to give 24 hours notice to my probation and to Merseyside Police before I enter Liverpool. And then they give me a time window, six hours, for example, that I can be in Liverpool. And then I've got to leave, right? That's what he said. And that finishes in August. Um, and that was part of me and um, criminal, criminal behaviour all there. Um, as, as well as all of the conditions. Like, I can't say anything drugs here about police and stuff like that. Um, yeah, but he's a fucking... He's a weirdo, isn't he? Even, and you just think... Even when he's saying about the snitch and the bigger lad, you only need to go on Google to see I get fucking... I, I get the maximum sentences for the most daftest of charge. And like you think, this guy's just a fucking, he's just a hater. That's all he is, a cloud chasing hater. He made lies up about Dad and G, and then he's made lies up about me. But you know, it is what it is. We laugh at these people. We, while they keep on hating, we'll keep on winning. That's my motto. And yeah, still getting used to me fucking teeth. I can't really talk properly because the fucking, um, you know, getting used to them being in my mouth. And, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, listen, enjoy your evening. And um, I'll attach these ass kissing messages um, to the end, but these voice notes in a bit. And I must say anything more on this subject about this little idiot. I asked him to meet me. He's saying to, he sent me his number. He hasn't. He hasn't sent me his number. He's lying. I've got messages here where I'm saying to him, send me your number, then you divvy. And he hasn't. Um, he's saying he's speaking to people. He, I know. That's another lie. Right? He's just a fucking idiot. In a bit. Yeah, Sam, I get that. Do you know what I mean? I get he's out for promotion, but obviously, I'm on the other. I'm on the other side of it. That I've only just come on this thing. Do you get what I'm saying? So obviously, I'm after the, I'm after a bit of promotion. Do you know what I mean? But there's no one, as you know yourself, but there, like out of everyone who's doing all these mad podcasts and all this. So even yourself, lads, you're 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 on it. You've been there. You've done it. So everyone, everyone's half wanting to listen. Like, Myself, lad, I've been there, done it, and when you say he's had everything said about him, he has, fair do he has, lad, but his brothers haven't, and his brothers are all the same as him, bro, do you know what I mean? Even if you don't just, even if you don't put the video up, Sam, just promote me a little podcast thing for me, lad, if you don't mind, just to try and help me out, lad, but I say if you don't, you don't, that's one of them, bro, you know what I mean? I get where you're coming from, but at the same time, that's just one of me things, I've got loads of things in the pipeline, I just, um, you know, I want to try and get in this because there's not many real ones of us doing it, brother, do you know what I mean? Put a multi page for me, Sam, if you don't mind, brother. I say, I understand if you don't, bro, but at the same time, um, I'd do anything. If you want me to put anything up about you, you don't need it, but I'd do it anyway, bro, you know. It's sweet, Sam. You can do for me to help, Sam. I'd appreciate it, bro, do you know what I mean? Anything, even if you don't want to do it yourself, just put me in contact with someone who can or ask someone to do it for me, lad. But anything, man, as I say, bro, you need anything off me in the future, mate, you're more than welcome to ask, Sam. To just even promote my page, Sam. Fuck the Darren thing, lad. It's just there's more to come from me, bro. I'm not gonna chill out, do you know what I mean? But fuck the Darren thing, but even just my page, man. Like, you know, Sam, we have history, brother. Just to say, bro, just even my page, man. Like, you know, a bit of help goes a long way, lad. All these kids from out of town and all these snide scousers and all these idiots doing these podcasts, bro. Like, we both know, do you know what I mean? If, if you don't want or I don't want it, it goes a different level. It's not the same as these kids from out of town or these, these you know you know what we do it so we don't mess about mate. we get views mate we get 
not that just the views, lads. Like, we, you know, everyone knows us, lads. Like, everyone gives us a little bit of time. So, if you don't mind, Sam, anything to do with me page, even just a screenshot of me page, fuck this Darren store. Don't promote nothing about Darren. Just promote me if you don't mind, bro. You know, anything you need off me, Sam, whether it's today or in the month's time, bro, you're more than welcome to ask. You know you are, man. I owe you five and a half for me Sam I fucking massively appreciate it bro but as I say just try and put the page up for me Sam and then um, anything you need mate anything whatsoever you want me to go and roll on Darren with you whenever you want I'll roll on him Darren starts calling me out for a straight I'll have him straight now I'll call him out anytime he wants bro do you know what I mean but as I say fuck promoting him lads I'm asking you to promote me mate as a favour bro you know as one of the real ones mate who's been through it and scraped the battle bro you know, we all deserve a chance, man. I'm just thinking, I'm always open. this is my chance, mate. But thanks, Sam, lads. I appreciate that, brother. Always, man. What are you saying anyway, Sam? Share me plate for me, Sam, brother. Fuck me, lad. Fuck the Darren D. Ching off, lads. The, um, if you watched, have you watched the podcast, mate? I hope you watch it, Sam. You'll, you'll get it just... You, you, you'll relate, man. You'll relate and you'll understand where they've come from, bro. The Sam Pitman, so... But yeah, man, um, that's what it was, lads.